Shiner is revived, but there's nothing after it, man. Shiner is swimming down there. Shiner is swimming down there real good. But there's nothing after. <laughs> there's nothing after the Shiner. Come on, man. This is when you know that the fishing is tough, okay? When you got the primo bait out here, you're casting everywhere. I hit like two bridges already. Two bridges already. And right over there, there's like this little, not cover, but like inlet thing that goes into the canal. I hit it over there too. Nada. That's when you know that the fishing is tough. I'm about to hit that bridge right over there, but you know the shiners man you hook them they swim down there a little bit and they're very sensitive i've wasted a few already soon enough you folks will see we're gonna start running out <laughs> we're gonna start running out of shiners here this fish wanna play huh is that what it is this fish wanna play no problem man i'll play with them i'm gonna select the juicy shiner right over here all right one that is very very active Okay, I'm not gonna hook it on the YouTube video because you know, YouTube is pretty interesting when it comes to things like that. So there you have it, circle hook, one tiny little split shot, game plan, hit different bridges like that. Obviously, ask the residents of the bridges for permission before casting here, even though this is public space. People make their houses around here, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit disrespectful to just or at least feels that way to just come by in <laughs> and they start casting around shiner swimming huh shiner oh, oh oh my lord that was no shot there we go there we go circle hook boy circle hook boy don't need to set the hook yay yeah, boy think you can fool epf huh you come here man you ain't fooling nobody <laughs> yeah bro sometimes you know they want to play games with you no problem man wanna play games i'll play games with you shiner son oh bottom of the mouth too i was pissed bottom of the mouth on the shiner hey you know if yours don't work that's how you gotta do it oh yeah oh yeah who's playing with who now huh Who's fooling who now, huh? Yesterday was such a terrible day of fishing, you know? Boy, I couldn't catch nothing on the live cichlid. And by the end of the day, I kind of realized why I saw at least six anglers yesterday around here fishing with live golden shiners. That's right. The same golden shiner, the Notemigonus chrysoleucas, that we were catching in New Jersey like two weeks ago, right? How are the lures supposed to compete with a live golden shiner? So today, I went out of my way and I got some primo bait. That's right. I got some golden shiners myself. Look, this dude is pissed. He's pissed because he know he fell for the trap right here. It's species number 19 of 2023, a beautiful butterfly peacock bass, aka Cicla ocellaris, aka peacock cichlid. Final view for you folks before I release it, okay? Beautiful sample here from the G15 Canal, North New River Canal. So yeah, they forced my hand, man. I had to go to the bait shop I just stopped by BJ's bait and tackle here in Sunrise and I told the dude, listen man, give me two dozen of those yummy shiners. That's right, we got some primo bait for today. Waste no time. Let's put another shiner out there and fish around the bridges for starters. Yo, what's up, bro? How's it going? How are you? Good. Uh, actually, not that good. I mean, I'm out here trying to shoot a video, but things are not going too good. No. Oh, dude, the canal down here just sucks. 
I, I think it's because lack of rain and lack of flow so the canal is like very still oh dude hi you have no idea it's not hard finding the fish but you know the fish look at you you look at them I, I, I bought shiners today man you know like the shiners everyone uses even with the shiners man they look at the shiner and some of them just turn away and I'm just like what I've never even seen this happen before yes yeah it's crazy dude I just I just had another peacock like maybe three pounds peacock came looked at the shiner you know the shiner was swimming really good I'm using like fluorocarbon leader and everything you know nope dude just turn away and swim away I was like wow dude yeah so it's a little bit tough I don't know how this video is going to to turn out yet we'll see oh wait dude I gotta hit I gotta hit I gotta hang up dude I gotta hit bye bye oh ooh, I missed it dang dude well okay we we had a hit at least oh man I was talking to Ben oh that's brutal man finally got a hit here finally got a hit I was talking to Ben I don't know if that call brought me luck or if I was just unlucky to not be able to get it all right let me call him back again I got another shiner down there dang I missed it. <laughs> it's all right. I set I set the hook on the circle hook. <laughs> I forgot that I had a circle hook on. I just I just set the hook on the circle hook. Yeah, but I missed it. Oh, it's okay, dude. It's no big deal. So so what's going on, bro? How how's the office? Dentist. Okay, just for like regular checkup. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, that's cool, man. Oh, wait, 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 dude, wait, oh, no, 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 it's good, it's good, another peacock came up to check, oh, 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 nailed it, nailed it, dude, I need to hang up, I need to hang up, I got this one, dude, I saw that peacock come all the way up here, check the bait, oh, no, you're not getting away, boy, Ooh, dude, that peacock came all the way up to check the shiner, man, oh, yeah, second one of the day coming up, oh, but it's tiny, though, see, it's tiny. It's not that big at all. Ah, well, hey, hey, I tell you what. Fish better than no fish, right? Hey, fish better than no fish, dude. Circle hook, side of the mouth. Look at that, man. Peacocks down in Florida. All right, this one here is for a little homage to Benoit, owner of the Euro Tackle Company. Okay, I think talking to him over the phone kind of brought me luck. So I'm going to do a little Instagram here too. Don't worry, man. Fish is going to be fine. An additional 10 seconds outside of the water. All right. Do a little homage for this guy here. All right, Ben. This one's for you, man. Talking with you over the phone. I'm telling you, man. Brought me, brought me luck. Brought me luck. <laughs> hey, there it goes, man. All right, Ben. This one's for you, man. Talking with Tag you Euro Tackle I'm here. You, man. Brought me, brought me luck. Brought me luck. <laughs> hey, there we go. Hey, there we go, man. Good luck at the dentist, man. Good luck at the dentist. It is impressive, isn't it? It is always when I'm doing something that they actually decide to bite. Look at that, man. We got one, two, three, four, five golden shiners. Man, what a sorry state. From two dozen over here, and we only call like what? Two peacock cichlids, right? This is what I call a <sighs> tough day here at the canal. Go there! Hopefully you guys don't get eaten while you are down there, okay? I reserved half a day today for live shiners and uh, half a day for micro fishing multi-species to rack up the numbers for the 2023 species marathon now you see i had to release the shiners right now because if i keep carrying that bucket around with me it's already 12 33 pm right if i keep carrying that bucket around with me you all know i'm gonna get stuck on that idea the entire day 
and I, I'm totally going to forget about the micro fishing and the other stuff, right? I like to focus on one thing at a time. So yeah, two peacock cichlids. At least we added one more for this year, right? Number 19, beautiful colors, beautiful patterns. I think that call with Ben really brought me some luck. That being said, it is time to change to the ultralight setup, right? And hopefully we're going to catch some species here at the canal that we didn't really catch yesterday. The game changer today is that I actually got some worms from the tackle shop when I got the shiners. So hey, you never know, right? The worms may make all the difference at the end of the day. Got one. Sir, yes sir. That's the first fish that I really wanted to catch. Oh, I don't got water in the photo tank. I don't got water in the photo tank. That's the first fish that I wanted to catch out of here. Because I saw the peacocks swiping at it, you know? Peacocks don't just eat the golden shiners and the mosquito fish. They also eat whatever else is around here. Oh yeah, like these silver sides right over here. I think this is an inland silver side, the Menidia berilina. I am going to double check, but for now, oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Is that really what it is? Is that a, an inland silver side? I'm going to take a few photos and I'm going to let you know, but it's looking, it's looking like it is. It's looking like it is. I'm going to put some photos for you all here on the screen. I actually confirmed that this is indeed the inland silver side, aka the Menidia Berilina. Listen, I'm just happy that I was able to catch one of them. And this one, by the way, kind of died on me, which is really a shame because every other smaller species of fish in this canal really loves to eat these little fellas right here. So if you're actually able to catch a few of these on hook and line, which is actually very hard, by the way, you know, you put a float and you cast it out there, the school gets immediately spooked and disperses, right? Uh, after I caught that one, the school just left. I don't know where they went, but they're here. They're not here anymore. If you're able to catch a few of these on live line and with smaller hooks, bow's eye, snake head, peacock, cichlid, largemouth, you name it, right? Everything here likes to eat this stuff over here because it is more natural than the golden shiners, right? They occur naturally. Well, it's called inland silver sides for a reason, right? The majority of the silver sides, members of the Menidia genus, they are salt water with a few exceptions, right? Like that Brook silver side, for example, that we caught, the Labidestis siculus, right? Last year. But this one in particular, yeah, you can find it very, very inland. Eh, you know, dead or alive, I'm going to save this one just in case. That's good. That's another species for 2023 and we still got the entire afternoon. Of course, the mosquito fish. Let go, dude. Let go, bro. I need to let it sink naturally. And those mosquito fish are a pain in the butt. Oh, that's a jewel. That's a jewel cichlid. That's a jewel cichlid. Let, let me cast right here next to the log. Maybe something's going to come out and grab it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, yeah. What is that? Oh, yes. Do we have this one yet? Hmm, boy. No, we don't. That's another species for 2023. I am exhausted, fellas. I am exhausted. But that does mean that does mean that we are not catching here. Yeah, Mexican Mohara. Maya Hirus Uroftaumus. Number 21 for 2023. Another invasive though <laughs> for the canal. 
example here size 18 hook with just like a nice little tiny piece of night crawler i gotta put it together with the copper nose bluegill oh thank you for you know splashing my eyes we got a copper nose bluegill in there too saving all of these as bait bluegill or another species that we don't have yet that's why i'm a youtuber and not a singer yay son this is the one that i've been looking for around here too let me wet my hands here real quick we're getting all the ones that we didn't get yesterday aren't we hey, hey. we got ourselves here this spotted tilapia that's right man the tilapia right here look at the beautiful colors huh pelma tilapia mariae this is our fourth new species for the 2023 species marathon today that's what i really like about being a live lister you feel me it is about being happy with what you got morning experience was so bad it was miserable you know by the live shiners primo bait only two fish but when you are a live lister it is not just about the sizes and it is not just about any particular species right we truly believe that every species is unique and every species has its own role in nature that's right the little ones they matter too and this may be invasive over here but i tell you what they are all a part of the game right so we got here the spotted tilapia pelma tilapia mariae look at the beautiful colors right over here man right hey invasive not invasive this is a beautiful fish right over here all right there you go man back you go boom look at that we got here the mexican mojara right maya heroes uroftalmus <laughs> another invasive species of fish there you go right they're already established in all these canals needless to say you know you kill one here you kill one there you ain't doing nothing to the population this is a smaller one here too go with your daddy over there all right this is all a part of the game so we're at like what 22 or something like that i'm going to change the water here right for the photo tank you folks don't usually get to see this on the youtube channel but yeah i change the water of the photo tank all the time right Whoo, man i am exhausted it's only day two down here in florida but let me tell you this you know the heat strains i'm staying hydrating i've been eating my bananas but when you fish don't stop morning till you sunset that being said we still got a few hours it's about two in the afternoon i'm gonna you know do some more fishing around here see if the silver sides come back worse comes to worse i'm gonna hop to the other side you all see where those six pipes are at over there right and throw some worms around that area too right we got what four or five new species today so far I think we can go a little bit further than that. Dude, I'm cast the whole half night crawler out there, no sinker. Just for you. Yeah, some fish is swimming here. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Happily swimming here with all worry in the world. You're kidding me. Got my worm again? Two times in a row? What kind of fish are you to do this kind of stuff to me, huh? man you t oh man i hate fish like this dude i hate fish that believes that this is just a free buffet don't need to pay no nothing you know come and just feed a la carte everything no 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 dude two, two, took my worm two times what is this where did it go oh yeah yeah look look still circling around here look it's oh it's, yeah 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 you look it's coming again unbelievable got you this time son third time's the charm what oh whoa, whoa, easy oh my lord oh my goodness gracious i hate when this happens fell off the hook right there 
Maids are bay. So let's get you clean up, okay? It's a little bay. Oh, but you know what? Florida bass just got recognized as a species by fishbase.org. So this may be a Florida bass, which is the Micropterus floridanus, right? Easy. Let's clean you up really nicely. Take a few photos because to differentiate the regular largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, versus the floridanus, you need to count lateral line. <laughs> scales believe it or not so i'm gonna clean up this fella real quick take a few photos then we're gonna talk about that little fella little fella what are you what are you huh are you just a regular largemouth bass or are you actually a florida largemouth bass the micropterus floridanus huh this is a debate that has been going on in the community for years right years folks have thought this to be a subspecies of the large mouth bass until a few years ago some organizations recognized it as a separate species according to research and stuff like that but as you folks should be aware of i actually follow the fish bays website as a template for my database right on smug mug so fish bays didn't really recognize the micropterus floridanus until a few months ago they now actually have a page just for it right which means that they are finally recognizing like okay this is a separated species so i'm gonna put that one on hold for now no i don't know exactly what it is yet i need to go back to philadelphia read through some material right count the lateral lateral line scales i took some really nice photos of it so that i will be able to count all the scales and you know be definite but be definitive around the id man i don't even know how to talk no more it's uh you know i'm suffering from heat stroke right now it is two in the afternoon and i am exhausted that being said, I think we added like what four or five different species to the 2023 species marathon. Are you folks getting used to the 2023 videos yet? That's right. This is pretty much going to be the video format for you all, right? Every video, hopefully, is going to have four, five different species. Hopefully, some of those species you have never seen in your life before so that you can learn more about them, right? Come on, you can't do no species marathon and not pay a little homage to Florida. This week, we're down here around Sunrise Plantation and we're going to be fishing only fresh water but next week we're going down to miami and we're going to easily all the different salt water species right let me check once again before i don't want to bs nobody here on this channel but oh yeah we're currently at 22 for 2023 which is actually pretty good considering that it is only january 11th right uh, all right thank you very much for watching today's video we got one more day here around the plantation sunrise area not exactly sure if i am going to be fishing this canal tomorrow i do have another spot in mind that is going to bring us more different species for the marathon but this is it for now tight lines and take it easy man it is time to go to pinchos guay carnal and get some of that vaca frita bowl boy brother